What's going on, y'all? We're back again with another video. We need to store these slabs. The barn is a mess, horrible mess, wood everywhere, trash. It's horrible. I think final destination for these slabs is gonna be right here. I think what we're gonna do today real quick, by real quick, I know that it's not gonna be real quick. We're gonna move all of this out of the way. I'm gonna try to build some wood racks on the wall. We'll just make them real quick out of some two by fours and maybe some four by fours. We'll be able to get all of this off the floor, up on the racks, and then we can put them down there, put some uh, two by fours in between them, strap them down and leave them. There's also gonna be a lot of cleaning and I'm just gonna go to town on this. All of this, all of this mess. There's that, this, that, look at this, all of this mess. Let's get to it, pow! Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I found a friend. Well, I was taking out all of that material. I didn't realize how much, ugh, but didn't realize how many two by fours I have there, which I have a lot. I got a lot of different size of pallet wood. I think I am gonna try to get it all into like even dimensions, so it's not like so crazy. Anyhow, look at all of the space for activities. So the game plan for me and my boy is I'm gonna put up a two by four stud there, there, there. That'll be my starting points. And then on each stud, I think off the ground, I'm probably gonna go to like four feet off the ground. So it's gonna be right around, around here. Oh, 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 don't jump. Don't jump, bud. We're almost done with this uh, little snippet. And then we'll get back to the time lapse. Just you chill out. I'm chill, you're chill, everybody's chill. All right, let's get to it. I would smack the screen, but my boy would be out. So how about he smacks the screen? He's out. He's good. I promise. No animals harmed in the making of this video. All right, y'all. Ran right into a little problem. This piece of plywood was put up incorrectly, so it's over that piece of plywood. And this is where I'm gonna put my two by four. So I have this overlapping, so I can't have that. So I gotta fix that. So I'm just gonna cut this line straight up so that this one will fit in to place instead of over the other one. Let's do that. I gotta go get the saw. Let's see if that works. Now it'll be flush. Got it. We got these three studs laid out. Now I have to make, whoa, almost eight. Now I gotta make the shelf part of it. So I'm just gonna get a two by four, maybe four by four. Four by four piece sticking out and I'm gonna make a square type thing. Here we go. I know it's a triangle, but it's called a square. Speed square. Knowledge. Anyway, it's gonna look like that. I gotta make a bunch of those. Cause I think four times three, that's 12 of those I gotta make. So let's get to work. We went from recording those. These are two foot pieces. Actually, let me show you. It'll make more sense if I show you. This is the idea. I'm gonna cut the angles on these, obviously. This is gonna go like this, essentially. This will be a four by four, and then the wood will sit on here. Now I gotta cut 15. I mean, car, car, car. Now I gotta cut 15 four by fours with 45s, 45 degree cuts to make that shape that I was talking about. Then I'll install them, and then I'm gonna cut a triangle out of plywood to go here to connect all three pieces together. That will bring us to a close of this video, I believe. Bam!
Okay, quick little update. We have all of the shelving, whatever. I don't know what you want to call these. All in place. We ended up having to do only three rows because I completely didn't take into account this piece coming down. So if I did every foot, which would have been like five, five or four rows, this would have been like on top of the bottom piece. And that would give us no room to stack wood, which is the whole purpose of these. So at least with this, I got almost, I think about a foot, close to a foot space, which, you know, I'll be able to stack up to here. And then obviously here I can continue stacking up. I don't think I'll ever really get that much wood backing. I'm saying that, but this is also a lot of wood. So we'll see how it goes. At least it'll get the majority off the floor and give us a little extra space. We'll be able to put the slabs down there. All right, y'all, we're done, I think. I was actually looking at this and I think the only thing that's missing here, I might have to put plywood across, all the way across so that there's not really a hole because some of these pieces are short. I don't know that they reach across. So maybe we'll do the plywood, let's do it. There it is. Oh, it's sunny in all its glory. I do think I'm gonna end up having to make another one over there where that box is because that one is pretty much packed just in case like other material, if we ever picked anything else up. But it did come out really nice and it looks good. And, and I think now we are gonna put this down on the floor. I think that's where the slabs are gonna sit. That is just one of those panels that we're making the doors with without plywood. So one slab will lay there, then I'll get another frame, put it on top of that slab, then the other slab, and then strap it all together and then leave it alone until next year. That's the plan, that's the idea. Let's try to do that. Yeah. 